Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Joy. In today's video, guys, we are going to be making rice oil. Now you can use any rice you have available to do this. For this video, I'm using basmati rice. We all know how effective rice water is and also rice hair mask. In case if you don't want to wet your hair but you still want the benefits of a rice, rice oil is the best alternative for you. To make the rice oil, I put the basmati rice on the rice. And then into that, I'm going to be adding a half cup of olive oil. Olive oil is very beneficial for hair and scalp. It has a very conditioning and moisturizing effect on the hair. It also helps to strengthen the hair and to prevent split ends. After adding the olive oil, just close the jar and blend the rice with the olive oil. Blending the rice with the carrier oil, which is olive oil in this case, will help to infuse the benefits from the rice into the oil. Now blend until the whole thing is quite smooth and creamy. That way you know that the benefits from the rice has really really blended and seeped into the oil. Look at how creamy that is. We are not going to stop at this. Now pour the rice mixture into a jar. Close the lid of the jar. We are going to further infuse this over hot water using the double boiler method. So pour some hot boiling water into a bowl and dip the jar containing the rice into the bowl. We are going to let this sit until the water in the bowl becomes just warm to the touch and then we'll bring the jar out. I like to use some heat while making rice oil because I feel like heat will further infuse the nutrients into the oil but apart from that I feel like heat is what will really really help to release inositol which is the main ingredient that really helps to penetrate our hair shelf to heal and repair our hair from the inside now after heating up with double boiler method you can actually just filter off to get your oil at this point but i don't like to do that i like to still leave the rice in the oil for a day or two in this case i left it for two more days this is after two days our rice oil is ready so now i'm going to filter with my filter bag so pour the rice mixture into a filter bag and gently squeeze out the rice oil. Now for the remaining rice, you can just boil it up and use it as a hair mask. So nothing is wasted. Look at how cloudy the oil has become to show you that the nutrients from the rice has really, really infused and seeped into the oil. You can really, really notice this if you're using a clear oil like coconut oil. But I didn't want to use coconut oil because I felt like it would be too much protein. So that's why I decided to use olive oil. But then you can still see how cloudy it is in the applicator bottle. So here we have it. Our rice oil is ready. Now moving on to the usage and application. You can just add this rice oil to your hair mask or other hair treatment. So use it the way I used it in this video to moisturize your hair. You don't have to wash this out. Like in this video, I didn't wash it out. Now for this particular application, I went ahead to first of all wet my hair with cloves water. Cloves water is also very beneficial for hair. This is bomb.com hair growth spray. Like only one ingredient and your hair will grow like crazy. So cloves is very, very healthy for hair and scalp. I make sure to saturate my hair and scalp with the cloves water first of all and once I'm done and satisfied with the cloves water, I'm now going to proceed to add the rice oil. I'm using the rice oil to seal in the cloves water so that no moisture no will last longer on my hair. So I'll get the benefits from both the cloves water and the rice oil. So now I'm just applying the rice oil all over my hair. I'm going to apply it on my hair and also use the opportunity to as usual massage my scalp. Guys, we are looking to grow your hair. 
longer and thicker massaging your scalp is very very essential any opportunity you have just you know give yourself a scalp massage is very very effective it will get that blood circulating and flowing to your scalp and monitoring your hair follicles thereby promoting hair growth so i went ahead to apply the oil all over my hair and some on my scalp as well so i used the opportunity to also retwist my hair i like to leave my hair in this chunky twist before i get like my normal protective style so i just leave it in this chunky twist to just leave it you know secure and protected it also makes it easier for me to re-moisturize and retwist if necessary sometimes i keep it like this from wash day to wash day if i didn't have strength to do a protective style. If you burn on the sea, the horizon turn us to thousands. So that's it for this video, guys. If you like it, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave comments in the comment section below. I love you all and see you in my next video. Bye.